Hey guys, there is a popular quote. It says, um, preach the gospel at all times and when necessary, use words. And although I agree to the sentiment of this, I think a lot of people want to take it and say basically that, you know, like, hey, when or when necessary, we use words. And it's, it's like, wait, we should always have a defense for the things that we believe in. And so I, I, although I love it, we need to be spending our time spreading the gospel, living the gospel. We need to be able to tell someone why it is that we do what we do. And if we have no words for the love that's inside of us, or if somebody asks us, hey, why are you doing this? Yesterday I talked about, you know, loving your enemies. If somebody, if you give somebody coffee, right? Like I, like I said, I was recommended. You give somebody that doesn't like you and you don't like them. If you give them a gift, they were going to ask why. And if they ask why, and you don't have anything ready to say, if you're not ready to talk about the God that you love, if that makes you uncomfortable, then I think you're missing something. We don't want to hide behind this idea of, you know, I don't think that's what the quote originally was about, but but we don't want to hide around behind this idea that, well, no, we're going to live out the gospel. We're not going to preach the gospel. That's not what the Bible says to do. So I just, I want to challenge you. Hey, sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes more than often it's necessary. Living the gospel is almost just to open the door so that you can preach the gospel. So don't get so caught up in, you know, like making sure that you're living everything perfect and you never want to say anything because you don't want to offend anybody and you don't want to make anything, any wrong step. Be ready to share the love that, that God has given to you. Because the gospel in the end is good news. That's what it means. And so if we're not ready to share good news with people, do we not think it's very good? What's wrong with us? So I just challenge you. Look for an opportunity to share the love that God has shared with you. Tell people about how great God has been to you. And you do that in your actions, but you also do that with your words. So I challenge you. Use your words. Share with people the love of God today. Thanks for taking a minute.